Treasure Fest is the Bay Area's monthly festival featuring everything that makes the Bay Area unique. This weekend is returning to Treasure Island with hundreds of vendors featuring art, music, food, and so much more. Here to tell us all about the exciting return is event director Danielle Cohen. Danielle, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I know so many people are ecstatic that Treasure Fest is returning after a five-year hi hiatus. So are we. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So for our viewers who maybe never heard of Treasure Fest, catch us all up on what it's all about. Yeah, it's the, it's the Bay Area's monthly curated festival that features all the wonderful things about the Bay Area. So that's um, local bands, it's over 250 vendors selling, you know, everything from antiques and vintage to designer clothes that they make to different kinds of art, artisanal food. Um, and then, you know, there's, speaking of food, we have a, we call it the Treasure Feast oh, Food Park. Treasure Feast. Um, and that's, you know, everything from Cochinita, which is um, Mexican food. We have Cousin Maine Lobster. We have dessert from Humphrey Slocum, the ice cream. Yeah. And, you know, 20 plus more food vendors in that food park. Um, yeah, so it's it's got a lot for everyone oh man it sounds like it sounds like everybody can find a little something within treasure fest now it was on a hiatus for five years i know a lot of people were very disappointed as a matter of fact even some of the people in the office were like oh it's back it's back so why why all the excitement about the return and why back to treasure island yeah so it was going on on treasure island for almost 10 years and um it started out as the Treasure Island Flea Market, and then they kind of rebranded to Treasure Fest uh, to kind of move away from the, the haggling of the flea market sort of idea into like, you no, know, you're actually shopping from local businesses. And mm. um, so it's been Treasure Fest, but due to, first it was due to uh, like development projects on the island, and then due to COVID, it took a break and has been, you know, building strength quietly in the yeah. background <laughs> for this big relaunch, which is finally coming this weekend. And we are so excited and so happy it stopped raining for us. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad that there's going to be a break in the rain for sure, especially after five year hi hiatus. Like that's a huge deal to come back and be like, hey, we're back. We're bigger than ever. <laughs> yeah. And the residents and the businesses on Treasure Island are particularly excited to have us back. I believe it. So you mentioned there's food, there's entertainment. Mm -hmm. There's art. There's pretty much everything for everybody. But tell us some of the fine details that they can expect to see. Yeah, and we hope that every month these fine details change a little bit so that it's a new experience every time. But this weekend, we have, you know, everything from selfie walls and photo booths. We have a live art alley with um, painters painting live and selling their work on the spot. Um, we have tons of stuff for kids. We've got games and face painting and roving robots and Hot Wheels car races. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not an event without robots. <laughs> right? <laughs> Especially in today's world. <laughs> exactly, yes. Even if some of them are humans dressed up as Yes, robots. yes, exactly. <laughs> so a lot of fun, it sounds like, even for the kiddos. I'm glad you mentioned that. So this is definitely a family-friendly event. Family-friendly, dog-friendly. Dog-friendly. That friendly, was my friendly. next question. Yes. Friendly, friendly, all the friendlies. Yes. And for you, you know, when it comes to organizing this, like you said, this is something that happens once a month. And I know that this is the big return after yeah. a five-year hiatus. But what goes into planning an event like this and getting everybody together? Yeah, well, getting everyone together is the whole point, right? Getting everyone outside in real life, creating community together. And I mean, what goes into it is very similar to a lot of businesses, right? You have your, your marketing side. We are curating um, an ongoing influx of applications from vendors who want to be a part of it. So that's always happening behind the scenes. Um, you know, we're building the things that we present there or we're hiring artists that are building the things that are shown there. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like operations, marketing, not only to tell you know, attendees, hey, it's happening and, and here's how to come, but also to get all of the participants that are showing their work mm -hmm. to know about it as well. And if there are participants or people out there who want to be a participant, they want to be one of the vendors there, what exactly are you looking for? What are the requirements? Yeah, I mean, we mostly are looking for uniqueness and um, that, there, that there's like a 
a plethora of products to choose from. I mean, some people are just starting out and kind of testing the market, but we like to see a wide variety at the event. And like I said, we want it to be a different experience every time and equally wonderful if someone comes on a Saturday or a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there is a curation process. Um, we're always looking for new vendors on a rolling basis. We're always looking for new music. We're looking for volunteers. We're looking for, you know, art partnerships and sponsorships. So all of that uh, can be found on our website, which is treasurefest.com. Amazing, and I have one final question sure. for you, Daniel. When people do come to Treasure Fest, again, especially after five years of not being able to go, this weekend, what do you hope that they take away from the experience on Treasure Island? I hope that they just have the, one of the best weekends they've had in a really long time. Whether that's, you know, reconnecting with friends, having the best meal they've had in a long time, or, you know, feeling a part of the event. There's a lot of interactive things to do, whether it's grabbing some chalk and drawing on the chalk wall. Um, it's not just shopping, although, of course, we want people to find treasures at Treasure Fest. Yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch more to do besides shopping. And if they want to get involved one final time, how, how can they get tickets or just be able to show up? Yeah. Tickets are available on our website, uh, treasurefest.com. And today, until midnight, is actually still the early bird price. Whereas if you wait until tomorrow and get them at the door, the price goes up. So oh, that's get them to today. Now, this is your public <laughs> service announcement. Make sure you get them today, right. everybody. And if you miss this month, for some reason you can't make it, then you can always come next, next month. month. It's the last weekend of every month. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for we having me. It. I really appreciate you. Of course.